Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am rounding up on how 2018's beauty resolutions went and talking about my goals for 2019. I'm aware it's February, a little bit late doing this, but better late than never. In 2018 I went on a year-long spending ban. I managed that with the exception of times that I went on a holiday, which I said at the start, if I was on holiday, I was able to buy things. So I did purchase things when I was on holiday. That was when I went to New York in October and when I went to London in December. I did not purchase anything at home for an entire year. I didn't go to a beauty counter. I didn't go into Boots and buy things. I just went cold turkey on it. And that worked for me. I know it probably seemed quite extreme for a lot of people, but that really worked for me. And I have still, right now, got things that I haven't filmed that are in bags from when I was shopping that I haven't even started using yet. So I have no need to shop again anytime soon. So 2019 is going to be a continuation of my spending ban. Complete beauty spending ban. Only exceptions are holidays. So again, I'm going to Florida in March. Don't really think it'll be a thing because my spending ban finished on the 15th of December. That was my year. And I knew I was going to start this again in January. And I said, I'm going to give myself those two weeks. And if there's a couple of things I want, I'm going to let myself get them. And I didn't. Um, I had the f I was saying I was allowed to do it and I didn't do it. I didn't want to shop. There was nothing I needed. So I am going to let myself buy things when I go to Florida in March if I need them or I want them. It's not about need, it's about want. But I don't foresee it being a huge haul or anything like that. And then I'm not going to be buying anything at home. The only other exception to that is that I will, th is that this year I will allow myself to replace products if I have genuinely completely run out of them. I don't think there's going to be a lot of categories this is going to happen happening off the top of my head. Um, I think I'll finish, I'm on my last Essence I think. So I think I'll probably need to replace Essence at some point this year. My green corrector, I only have one green corrector and I think that will need replaced at some point this year. And the other thing is serums, which I'm going to do a beauty inventory video so stay tuned, that will be coming. Um, but what you'll see in that is that I have quite a lot of serums but within that within that there's maybe serums that do different jobs so I might finish up a vitamin C serum and then I might have you know four hydrating serums left or something but none of them have vitamin C in them so I could buy a vitamin C serum yeah a replacement only no buy basically is what I'm going on but I don't think there'll be a lot of things to replace that is the core plan it's basically still no more spending but this year a little bit more relaxed and that I can replace things if I have genuinely run out of them but it has to be like, I have finished that and I have no equivalent product. Not just I have finished the one that I like and don't want to use the other one. Probably that's actually how most people shop. They don't actually call it a replacement only no buy. They just only buy things when they need them. And I don't think, I don't know. Maybe that could be me in the long run. I don't know. I'm still excited by beauty. That's the thing. But I feel like definitely there's been a huge shift in my way that I look at it and that I'm excited to do things with it. Whereas before I was just like, just bought things but I didn't use them. So yeah, my whole relationship with beauty products has changed. I'm still excited by them so I don't know if I'll ever be somebody who's like, oh I only buy this when I completely run out. Like, I think in the future I will probably, you know, I'll see new releases and be excited by them and buy them. But hopefully with a much better outlook. But it's not going to be this year because we're continuing on the no buy. Last year I did the reverse rouge challenge and in total, my aim was to use up $1,000 worth of product and in total I used up $4,035.47 worth of product. I'm really happy with that for last year. This year, for 2019, um, I would definitely like to achieve reverse rouge again. $1,000 shouldn't be an issue. I don't know this year if I can use more than that or less than that because last year when I started, I had so many things that I'd had for so long that were like half used that I could really concentrate on, particularly at the start of the year. I think like last January I'd used up like $700 worth of product in a month. Um, I've not done my January empty yet, so I don't know what I'm at this year so far. I do, I definitely want to do reverse rouge again and I think $1,000 should be no problem. I'm going to be tracking it, updating it. I'll let you guys know every month how much I've used up. But this year I think as well, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to do my beauty inventory video, but I'm also going to watch how many products I use rather than just the value. Um, the thing is the value is just an indicator, it's just a way of using a goal um, and I know off the top of my head for example this month or in January 
I used up two serums that are worth $200 because the full size of this serum is 30 mils and it's worth $600 and these little deluxe sample sizes that I had were five mils each. So these were like tiny little samples that were just monetary value wise worth a lot of money. What I want to track this year is how many products that I finish as well as the value of them. Last year I did a project pan, I will film my finale for that. What I would say I learned is that project panning is not for me. I feel like a lot of my makeup collection went completely unused last year because I felt like I had to concentrate on my project pan items. This year what I'm going to do is introduce a new series. So what I've been doing through January is when I've used a colour product, by which I mean a blush, eyeshadow or lipstick, I've been putting it in this box and then at the end of the month I can look in and be like this is all the makeup that I used, not base products and things because they're not as much of a problem. Um, but I can look at it and be like this is what I used, how did I like everything and I'm going to introduce a new series to my channel called Discoveries and Declutters. So every month I'm going to go through the box of products um, and pick out basically almost like a monthly favourite so I'll talk about things that I have rediscovered or that I've used this month that I've loved um, but also potentially decluttering some things every month. Last year was definitely about using things up and that was my focus and my goal and I don't tend to declutter skincare or hair care really but makeup is my problem category. So last year my makeup total started at being worth $16,506.45. It was by far my highest category. It was the one I used up the least in because you don't really finish makeup products the same way you can finish like hair products or skincare products. And in 2019, with my additions, bearing in mind I didn't shop very much, this was just from things I had already bought that I hadn't added to my inventory when I started it last year. My 2019 starting total for makeup is $17,441.07. The thing is, I think last year, like, I was so new to thinking about finishing things because it wasn't really, that had never been a goal for me before to finish things and to use things. I just, I had always enjoyed makeup and whatever. I think I was maybe a little bit naive in that. I think I thought, oh, well, I'll get, I'll get through it all eventually. I'm never gonna get through it all. Let's just be honest about it. And there is absolutely no point this is where I felt that project panning wasn't for me, is that there's no point in me sitting trying to desperately finish something when, say for example I've got 50 eyeshadows and I'm trying to pan one of them, there's 49 just going off because it, makeup expires. So this year I am going to be more focused on running through my collection once I've used things, they go in the box. I'll do my, declutter, my discoveries and declutters video. Then once I've used things my plan is to then put them into a bigger box so that at the end of the year everything that I have not used will still be in that storage there and everything that I've used will be in a box. And that doesn't mean that if there's something I want to use again I can't go into the box and take it out but what I want to actually do is track what I use in a year and then there will be products there at the end of the year that I'll know that I haven't used last year either and then I'll be able to say in a way that I can't deny that I haven't used this product in two years so why am I giving it space because it's just sitting expiring and going off and I'm not going to get my money's worth out of it so yeah that is my plan is to hopefully do a bit more decluttering as I go along this year you know make sure I'm using things and if I find I've used that and I don't really like that lipstick pass it on to someone else if it's you know in a a state that it can be passed on or just put it in the bin and don't let it sit there and take up room for another year. So that that's more my plan this year is to not bother so much about panning products or finishing products but to cycle through and learn my collection which I did say I wanted to do last year but I think I was just really naive to think that I was going to be able to really cycle through a lot of products and use loads of stuff up as well. Like I, I can't do both of those things so it's one or the other and this year is definitely more focused on learning the collection and working through things rather than trying to focus on finishing things. I would really like to see my makeup go down through usage rather than just decluttering things. I'll be tracking declutters and empties separately so I will have my total inventory that at the end of the year will include everything that's there. 
so the decluttered items will come out monetary value and quantity wise but I will say at the end of the year like I finished 10 of this worth this amount and I decluttered three of them worth this amount so my overall total has changed by this. And it's more focused on colour products that I'm probably not going to finish anyway so things like eyeshadows, lipsticks, um, blushes etc. I'm probably not going to finish an eyeshadow palette this well I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to finish an eyeshadow palette this year so that's fine but I would quite still like to use up like base products so like I would like to use up a couple of primers, a couple of foundations, a couple of concealers. I would like to finish up those products so they're not going in the box. I will still talk about them if I use something that I love and um, you know I'll still put it in discoveries and declutters as like I used this this month and I loved it and it was like a favourite as such um, but that's not what I'm saying is I should still be able to use stuff up but also the focus is not going to be on panning any particular product. So this video is probably long enough. I'm going to film a beauty inventory video so that'll probably be the next one up or up not very long after that because I'm going to film it right now back to back. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!